is another day with the physicians where your health is our business. So they are not going to take some drastic measures. But a 10 year old coming. But also to know that not only when your pressure is high, that you have your home. Sugar, and I don't know about any other one, but what do you know? You're welcome back to the very awesome of your The good thing about dance is that eventually they attain everything. Okay. So they're not working on time, they will work. Coronavirus cases are spiking around the world. With the Omicron variant expected to become the dominant strain, in multiple countries. The spread of COVID-19, particularly the Omicron variant, might mean holiday gatherings need to be cancelled. According to the World Health Organization Director General in a media briefing in Geneva-based journalists sometime in 2021, he said, there can be no doubt that increased social mixing over the holiday period in many countries will lead to increased cases, overwhelmed health systems, and of course, more debts. Our expert today on your regular TV health talk show, The Physicians, will be discussing coronavirus pandemic and the Omicron variant. Stay tuned. It's another day with The Physicians where your health is our business. Today we'll be talking about coronavirus pandemic and the Omicron variant. My name is Dr. Martina Agbiri, and as usual, I'm not alone. I'm with my very pretty, elegant co-host, Dr. <laughs> Memuna Yusuf Kadri. It's always a honor to be here, because you know, on your physicians, your health is our business. We're going to be discussing coronavirus pandemic and the Omicron variant. Hmm. And we, now we have another one. Plen I don't even know, it's like, um, you know these things, like when they say, um, kitchen rat. <laughs> Then when we just don't allow them to come, come in. in, once um, one come, come in, in, the children go full. Uh -huh. That's that's what I'm seeing now because truly this variant is not now um, alpha, delta, uh, um, omicron, delta. So many variants are just coming up. I mean, like, um, I'm not surprised that we have a lot of variants coming up now because we probably as human beings. As individual, we probably do not adhere to, strictly to the protocols. I will see, the thing is that that adherence to protocols no go work. That adherence to protocol may not because we are humans. We will definitely have those that will deviate, those that will do anyhow, those that will say, okay, I, this I must follow. So that mutation or variations will keep coming. I absolutely right. It will keep coming. But if we had Initially, earlier, earlier. Okay, okay. maybe uh, we, we need to actually look at it. Who, where did we drop the ball? Mm. Where did we really drop the ball? Was it that there was not enough public enlightenment for people to understand no that sure. if this is not done, this is what would be the repercussion? Because now we are seeing the repercussion of and not keeping to the, the protocols. Consequences, complications, the repercussions will definitely, and the truth is. We will still have those that still don't believe there is coronavirus. We will still have those that will still believe that this vaccine, the conspiracy theory, is going to change their That did not even help matter. That conspiracy theory didn't help matter. I think that was one of the major reasons why uh, the, uh, the, the, the responses actually did not come down well. information is still not, it's still very low. Information is lacking, but more of fake news and misinformation. So you see, the real information is 
poor. But the fake information and misinformation is high. So unfortunately, the scale is unfortunately, the social media is not helping matters. Oh, social media! You know, the good, the bad, and the ugly will always be there. People will pick which one they want to pick. So that's just it's so sad. Anyway, let's hope uh, that uh, our guest who is coming, you know, she's actually very oh, vibrant. She's an expert, she's an in, expert it. in it. So we will we'll hear more from her. Mm -hmm. If uh, if maybe if we decide to now like uh, want to start from afresh and uh, keep the protocols. If it's going to nip it in the bud. You think so? <laughs> Let's wait until she's coming okay. back. My dear, don't go. We'll be back after the short break. Just stay tuned. just join us here on your regular program the physicians where your health is our business today we're talking about coronavirus pandemic and the omicron variant and as usual in the studio i have a very elegant very cerebral guest she is no other person than dr alero rebus she is a consultant public health advocate physician in fact she's always on top of her game Dr. Leo, you are welcome to the physicians. Nice Thank having you. Thank you very you. much for having me. Happy New Year and always looking so bright and jolly Thank and gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you. Dr. Alero. Dr. Alero, you know we don't have time. Now we have brought you to come and tell us about this coronavirus pandemic and the Omicron variant. Huh. What is this asked. Omicron variant? And now we have another one. The Eho, uh, <laughs> Delta Ditacron. What is going on? We have said this thing. We have said this thing. You remember I, I kept saying that what we are trying to do is reduce the transmission between people. Because this is the science of the virus. And the virus really has no emotions or feelings about it. For as long as the virus continues to transmit between one and the other, it is going to mutate. That is simply what viruses do. A dog barks, a scorpion stings, a virus mutates. There's no... I feel all right about it. There's no what if, should if about it. That is what, as for as long as we have this ongoing transmission in the community, we always have this risk of transmission. So after Alpha came, Beta came, Delta yes. came, Omicron came, Florona, yes. Fl yeah. Florona yeah. came, yeah. Ihu yeah. came, Delta yeah. Cron, yeah. and we are set for any number of variants as you can possibly think of, even far more than we can imagine, because there's ongoing community transmission. So, the truth of the matter is, we are now looking for how to transit between a pandemic to an, an endemic. So, do you want to just explain like our viewers as exactly. they can understand so it? we started with this corona, this COVID, as a what? A disease of public health concern. concern. Then it became, it de was declared a pandemic. The whole world came together and threw everything we had at it. S restriction of movement, shutdown of schools, the arts, everything. culture, parties, everything. Planes stopped flying. People stopped moving. The world came to a standstill. The stand world still. came to a standstill. Nature regenerated itself. The climate was almost about to... Then new everybody said, hold on a minute. Mm, this new this thing, this this thing new that we can't see doing well we is not doing, no, 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 no. cannot be dictating <laughs> our behavior. Mm. Upon all this, millions still died. died. Families were thrown into mourning and bereavement. Does the virus care? The virus has no feelings, though. no political ideologies, no uh, loyalties, nothing. The virus is going to continue doing what the virus does. So here we are. Now we are starting 2022, and we are saying, where are we now? So having now had this pandemic that showed the entire world serious pepper, countries that you thought were stable, suddenly you found that it was all just a shop front facade. Screen health, <laughs> screen, real screen saver. The health systems were breaking down. In fact, we now suddenly started looking like, ah, 
We are in, not doing badly. We are not. We didn't do badly at all. By design or by default, we didn't do badly. But the fear still remains. And so we are now looking at, okay, with Ebola, we were 93 day wonder. In, out, 93 days Nigeria, we healed the. However, we are now looking at COVID-19. This is now two years. Two, yes, coming up March, what is the date? Will yes, be exactly two, two years, years since we declared this thing a pandemic. And we now have more variants than we even have names to call them. So we, what is definitely evident is that we are going to have to shift our behavior into this so-called new normal. How do we live with it? What are the dangers? And as the DG of WHO said, two years on, or almost two years on, we certainly have a lot more tools and weapons to fight this thing sure. than we had. When it started. We did not even know where we were going. Do you remember? Yeah. 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 We said, yeah. oh, it's aerosol. It's not aerosol. <laughs> it's contact. It's not contact. It's, it's not, mass, not it's, it's not. Thank you. You remember? <laughs> You know, we were, we were just completely confused and discombobulated. That's now, we pandemic. have some... Thank you. <laughs> I'm telling you, confusion. Sure. Complete confusion. <laughs> and everybody, from all the high-income countries, middle-income countries, low-income, everybody was equally confused. But certainly today, we have a few more tools in our arsenal. We have a, a bit more understanding of what is going on. One thing we know that certain rules have not changed. Cleanliness is still next to godliness. Yeah. Before Hand we washing go into the strategy uh, uh, of okay. this, we've had Delta. I think Delta came with the second, third wave kind of thing where, where it was, the death rate was so, so, much, higher. so much higher. What's the difference with Delta? Omicron. Oh, and this Dr. Memuna has come again with the exam <laughs> question this early January. My own as a public health physician, does it matter? Maybe death rate yeah. reducing, no. maybe transmission no. time reducing. No. Maybe no. It's not well, certainly the Omicron is more transmissible. Okay. Is it the, milder in the, symptoms? The symptoms yeah, appear the to be milder. milder. Okay. The immediate okay. appear mm. to be milder, but one thing we are beginning to hear news of is what we call the long COVID. Does mm. Omicron have longer lasting sequelae consequences? So that even if you are, God forbid, if somebody gets it and is still able to function, what other damage is it doing in the body? We don't yet know. That is serious. Yeah. Thank you very much. Which is why the DGWHO said, please. Don't call Omicron a mild disease. Do mm, not make that mistake. Mis misinformation. Thank you. Mm. The important thing is to know, look, know your enemy is the perfect strategy for battle. But yeah. more importantly, know that you do not know your enemy. enemy. Mm. So that you sure. are ready, you are, you are sure. on the lookout and you are getting ready for anything Be that can come. Don't, all time. Don't, don't, don't drop your guard. Yeah. We cannot drop our guard. Not now. So there's a very popular doctor online, um, not a Nigerian, and he had, it was among the very first set of people that had COVID at the very early stage. So if we're talking about before it was declared a pandemic, and now it's like almost like two years. He said, if you don't understand what COVID really is, speak to me. And if you think um, 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 awareness is expensive, Try illness, and if you think that um, you are one of the conspiracy theories and vaccine doesn't work, speak louder to me. He said because for the past two years he had had post COVID he recovery, yeah. he has never really recovered. He's still very lethargic, which means he's still very tired. He um, he still he, he forgets things easily these days. And I will um this very uh. Popular CNN, Richard Quest, he says he dropped things this day. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. I have so many people. You just fall. Yeah. Yeah. So, here now. Let me, so let me just just remind us of the symptoms, symptoms first. The symptoms. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the right now, I won't even want to give you a list of symptoms. Uh, for a very important anything reason, Dr. Mem Mem anything can be hmm. a symptom of COVID. This is a virus. It attacks every single cell in the human body, from head to toe. There are skin problems, eye problems, 
ear, nose, and throat problems, wow. lung problems, heart problems. Shall I go on? Let's do systems review. You people, shall we go back to medical school? No. Let's do systems review <laughs> from <laughs> CNS to musculoskeletal. Thank you. And you remember. So, is you know, to say that you have a list of symptoms now is actually misleading to the public. Hmm. And one of the, you, Dr. Memuna, uh, you yes. can give us even more information. One of the most devastating things we are seeing are the mental health challenges. Even that simple thing they call brain fog. Exactly. You know, that lethargy, things that you used to, one, one could do with, without thinking. Well, they say, oh, write a report. Yeah. You say, oh, give me two hours. Two I days later. Like languishing. Two yes, days later, you're struggling. struggling. And you're, you're actually angry with yourself for struggling on something that... Brain fog. So everybody I have talked to is reporting. They, they, they look at me and they say, ah, so Dr. Roberts, can it be a sequelae of COVID? I say, well, you've certainly never had it before. And the only new thing in your life is COVID. Put two and two together. And please don't Absolutely. tell me 22. Now that, now that, now that, yes, now that, now that, exactly, now that you have said that, and we're talking about the Omicron variant, how do they relate to the Omicron variant? Adults and children. Where is it more? Thank you very much. Mm. We're hearing all those reports about increasing number of hospitalizations among children and very young children. Now, wow. we cannot put children in masks the way exactly. we are putting adults in masks. So one of the things we are looking at is that, look, we kept saying that, oh, the Alpha variant, uh, it, it somehow is the very old. Uh, the, the younger ones are, are okay. less. And people have continued with that. Then Delta came, and okay. boom, we saw it fly through the adolescents, the young adults. The Omicron seems to have gone to an even lower age group. Yeah. And we are seeing a lot more pediatric cases of COVID, a five-month-old baby Whoa. that died of COVID. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's all over the news, my dear. Yeah. So yeah. these are the things that we are looking at. And, of course, we keep saying that, oh, milder, milder, milder. The danger with milder, so-called. It waters down to it the water severity. One, two, mm. it means that the people are likely to still be out in public. public. We know of a certain man who tested positive on December 16th. I was seen out and about, Serbia or Spain, no, here yeah, and there. Yeah, and yeah. has now gone to where MasterCard can take you, but Visa cannot take you. Ah, just so hilarious. Please just do it there. Wait, Am wait. I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. <laughs> That's exactly what you're doing. Thank you very much. Don't go there, because so that we can see how we'll be able to cope with it. But already you said you're affecting whole parts, all the systems of the body. And let's see if vaccines will be... A, We'll be able to do something to this. We're we'll back after the show. Just hold on there. So, as you as there, we're back after the short break. We need to take a look and hear what you have to say on keeping up with the physicians. We'll be back after the short break. Stay tuned. Uh, it, it's a milder version of of uh, of the coronavirus. It, it's an it's a uh, it's a mutated uh, version of, of the normal coronavirus that has been happening around. And I know that this um, Omicron is a new phase from coronavirus. So basically that is what is spreading mostly. It started last year in November in South Africa and it's still spreading. Though most of the symptoms of um, Delta and this in is likely similar to that of Omicron and other. Well, it's, it's a normal, it's a normal everyday wear your nose mask, stay meters away from people, make sure you're always clean at all, at all times. Me, I don't go to, to crowded places, avoid some social gathering and other, and try to like give yourself a meter um, this thing away from another person and also try to wear your nose mask and to prevent it and also wash your hand welcome back if you have just joined us you are on your regular program the physicians where your health is of course our business today we've been discussing the coronavirus pandemic and the omicron variant and as usual, we have in our studio Dr. Lele Roberts, a consultant, public health physician. 
She's actually an encyclopedia when it comes to anything that has to do with public health. I'm sure if you have been part of this program regularly, you must have been seeing her as a regular face here. She's all over, and that is what she loves doing the most. So we're talking about this Omicron variant, and she actually told us about the variant, the different types, why it's spreading, because you and I just did not keep the protocols, and I would even expect more of the variants come up. But then she also told us that even now in children, a five-month-old actually died, diagnosed and died of this coronavirus thing, Omicron variant. Now, now we're back here, we want to talk about how are we prevent this thing. Let's talk about the, um, the vaccines. Before we went on break, you talked about the children being affected. And from the elderly, the middle-aged children, where are we going? So now vaccines, vaccines are out, and people actually respond. Because as a public health physician, tell us about the vaccines. What are your experiences? What are you seeing out there in the field? The biggest thing that we're seeing about vaccines right now is a global uh, uh, issue of vaccine inequity. Wow. I'm going to talk about that. Please because, do. Because that vaccine inequity, you see, you cannot tell people, get vaccinated, get vaccinated, get vaccinated. And no vaccines. And then there are no vaccines. What's the point? Exactly. You know, so many people I know who have gone looking for vaccine and they went, one, somebody even told me yesterday that the place where they took the first and second doses, he went back for the booster, then the place is not even there, it's not existent, it's not existing wow. anymore. You know, wow. Yeah, so the issue is that there's, we have to talk first about vaccine availability. As I said, I got my booster, same place. Ah, thank God. I got mine in three different places. <laughs> but but you got I it. got it. But again, but, you know, this is... Apart from this vaccine inequity, right, which we know that it has a lot of political connotations. Exactly. What can we do better? It's almost two years. What is the cost of it? Is this is va COVID-19 vaccine? is going to be the, what do you call that thing in chemistry? The catalyst, catalyst. catalyst. So, to, to make, make us move into mm, vaccine production, production in this country, then COVID has done well for Post us. Why? What is stopping us? Yes. 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 Why? And you're going to on the national telly. Because at the end of the day, vaccine production isn't about the scientists in the laboratory. Exactly. Vaccine production is about having production systems, exactly. having manufacturing systems, having... Ma COVID. No, we started no. before, so what stopped? What happened? Why did you get the ball? What happened? If we have to go into that topic, that would be another session. That would be a problem. With, with Manufacturing Association of, of, of Nigeria, we have to go back. That so is a different, different issue so in let's, let's, let's narrow it down. Because so now, so now we have Omicron, Ihu, Detacron. We don't know the new names and whatever that are coming. What can we do better? The thing is that whether we like it or not, the vaccine, everybody can have their opinion about the vaccine. Exactly. I don't really care. If it's going to prevent serious illness and death, death I beg, bring it to me. And what I keep telling people is that at the end of the day, it really isn't about me. It's about the trouble I will cause to my family. Yeah. When they are running helter skelter up and down, do looking for care? money, looking for oxygen, looking for hospital bed. Now we don't have nurses. Now we don't have doctors. You can say that again. The one thing you do not want to play with now in this 2022 is your health. For any reason, you just can't. We cannot afford it. Exodus. Every we season. cannot afford it. Somebody is still calling me last night. Hey, my father. Hey, this and that. The children are abroad. The eight parents That's are here. Me. Who is going to even... I, I say, okay, hey, can you God. afford uh, this hospital? Ha! 15 million naira. I say, and that's just the deposit. <laughs> they say, why 15 million naira? I say, because there is nothing in the health sector in Nigeria. Nigeria. It's all important. Okay, it's so let me, let me ask you something. Somebody said uh, he had uh, the COVID-19 when it first started. And with that... The disease or the vaccine? that the Omicron variant will not affect, affect ah, Unfortunately, is he a scientist? It's a myth or a fact? I think we should yeah, be yeah. Myth or fact? Yes, <laughs> that is myth. Myth. Uh, a myth. Uh, myth. Because fact is that three months after the disease, your antibodies levels goes down. goes down. That's a fact. And like I said, this virus has no emotions whatsoever. The antibodies level goes down, the antibodies level goes down. And there's nothing you can do about it but to boost it up again. 
with vaccine and you remember um, dr fauci i don't mind quoting him yeah. everybody yeah. knows, everybody knows you know him, yeah. everybody knows it you know kept saying that we we, we may get be getting to a situation where we are looking at six monthly boosters yeah and it looks it's looking like well that. i know they will say the situation why not yeah, really? thank you because we've had this and, really? and for now full vaccination we've all had boosters, boosters now, we, we, on, on uh, yes we don't know the next six months if yes. we are going to be requested now the so. important thing what he was now talking about there because the context within which he said it was that if we can quickly vaccinate the whole world how possible is that we have to but why are we talking about we've done, yeah. we've done it with polio? Yeah, we've done it with polio. We've done it with polio. We've done it with polio. Inequity. Yes. yes. So we have to get rid of that vaccine inequity. We have to stop talking about this nationalistic thing. Yeah. We have to get to a point where to bring this thing back under control. The whole world needs to be vaccinated so that we reduce transmission and reduce mutations. So why can't Nigeria start manufacturing vaccines? Thank you very much. Let us begin at home. That yeah. one is the easiest problem to solve. All it will take is money. Hmm. Wow. It's the easiest problem to solve hmm. because everybody wants Nigeria, and that is the truth. That is one place where, funnily enough, both the public and the administration are in agreement. Dr. Alero, can it be possible for us to start manufacturing vaccines? Of course it is possible. Is With it, all the we have the right mindset as it is now to say we want to start manufacturing. We have the geniuses. We have the expertise. So what we can get the money. Is it a fitness? Mindset. Mindset. Wow, mindset. Mindset. We up to the next one. Well, thank you uh, very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Alero, for coming again on our program. It's actually very mind-blowing when we have you in our studio. You just take us down, down, and give us the real truth, what we need to know. We need to start manufacturing vaccines in Nigeria. We used to do it before. Yes. And we dropped the ball somewhere. And hey, we'll pick it up. We'll find it and pick it up. Exactly. <laughs> Truly. We can we find we it and pick it up again. Anything with what COVID has taught us is to go yes. back to the Look at what we are doing. Are we, are we not doing. manufacturing uh, sanitizer? Exactly. We are doing masks. Absolutely. We are doing, 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 doing PPE. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. can do it. If, are we not Nigerians? We are Nigerians. Thank you. We Thank you very it. much, Dr. Lea Roberts, for coming on our program. The physicians, you've actually taken us down again memory lane. The, the coronavirus pandemic, Omicron variant, so many variants are all over. And you're telling you did remind us on the different ones, how it comes. If we do not do the needful, if we keep having different variants. Thank you very much. I'm sure when we call again, you'll be here with us as usual. Thank you. And as you are out there, it's so nice having you keep a date with us on this particular day, discussing and listening to what our expert had to say. You all heard it from her. You need to do your own part. I will do my own part. Try as much as possible. Still wash your hands, the protocols. These are the routine things that will actually help us keep from this virus. Wash your hands regularly. Avoid uh, touching things unnecessarily. Still use the face mask. In public health, the face mask is actually very, very important. It's one of the first things that we need to use in being able to uh, overcome this particular uh, social miscreant, if I have to say that. Yes, this is to say it's actually a social miscreant. And she also said, it affects the whole system. The whole body is involved. Even after you have recovered, the system doesn't really come back normal. It takes a whole lot of time before you can, before you can get back to it. So on this note, I say, always keep a date with the physicians. My name is Dr. Matsina Agbenye. I remain Dr. Mimuna Yusuf Kadri, and if you want to be a part of this program, you are just a click away. Thank you very much for keeping it real with us, because all your physicians, remember, your health is our business. And please, follow us on all our various social media platforms. Till next time, stay blessed. Cerebral palsy is a disorder of posture, tone, and movement, and this usually arises from a, an injury to the developing brain. It is a very preventable condition if proper antenatal services, prompt delivery, delivery at healthcare facilities, and prompt treatment of neonatal illnesses are adhered to. Keep watching the physicians.